In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to structure and optimize your Google Ads campaign to get maximum profit for the least amount of time. Hey, I am Daryl from Bigflare. I spend over a million dollars on Google Ads per month using the exact structure I'm going to teach you today. That structure is something I call the seed mining method. Today, we'll dive into the seed mining method, what it is, how to set it up, how to optimize it, and why it works. I'm going to teach you the manual method of running the seed mining method. That is the best way to learn it. But once you've learned it, it's always great to save even more time by automating it with a script. And I actually have a script that one of my team built for this exact purpose. And if this video gets 150 likes, I will share it with you on a future video. Now this script is going to make the whole process run in about 20% of the time for you. And it's something I personally invested tons of money and time into building. So if you want it, hit that like button now. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe and bell button as well. So that if I release it in a future video, you'll be the first to know. All right, so what is the seed mining method? The seed mining method is a Google Ads campaign structure that allows you to organize your campaigns and ad groups for maximum efficiency, leverage, and scale. It's also very simple and intuitive to understand. It encompasses not only how to build your campaigns, but also how to run your weekly optimizations and how to get the most out of your ad copy. It includes how to manage your keywords and search query reports, and it gives you a blueprint for your search ads campaign so you don't ever have to think or worry about that again. All right, have I teased you enough yet? <laughs> you are probably gagging to see what this thing looks like. So have a look, here we go. What we have here is the basic structure of the seed mining method. You have one campaign in which you only put the phrase match keywords. You then have a second campaign in which you only put the exact match keywords. For every keyword that you want to target, you have two copies of that keyword in your account. One copy of it will be phrase match and inside campaign one. The second copy of it will be exact match and put inside campaign two. In the phrase campaign ad groups, you will add only seed keywords and you will add them as SCAGs, which means single keyword ad groups or one keyword in each ad group. When I say seed keywords, I mean the shortest possible version of the keyword that is relevant enough for you to want to target. So say for example, I'm selling iPhone covers. My seed keyword would be iPhone covers. And at this stage, I would not add the longer tail versions such as iPhone covers online or cool iPhone covers. In the exact ad groups, these will start out as skags and will have only the exact match version of the seed keyword in there. But your exact match ad groups will soon grow to have lots and lots of keywords in there because you'll then check your search query reports or SQRs every week. And every time you see a search term come up in the phrase campaign that is above your impression or conversion threshold, you'll move that term into its corresponding exact match ad group. In this way, campaign one becomes a sort of discovery campaign. You use it to discover the search terms that are actually getting impressions and sales. Campaign two is your performance campaign, where you actually try and get great ROAS or CPA performance out of those terms. This is actually why we named it the seed mining method. It's because you mine the search terms report of the phrase match campaign in order to find successful terms to add to the other campaign. And that, my friends, is all there is to it. As I said, it really is quite simple once you understand the concept. That being said, the beauty of this method really kicks in when you start to think about how to optimize it. After a few rounds of optimization is where you are really going to see the power and results of this method. So let's dive into how to actually optimize it. When optimizing the seed mining method, I highly recommend that you do each of the three following activities at least weekly, if not more, for the duration of your campaign. In fact, at the beginning, when you just launched, you should actually do this daily. Then, after one to two weeks, depending on spend levels, you'll have done enough that you can slide the frequency down to weekly, and that is where the frequency should stay indefinitely. Okay. 
So the first part of your optimization ritual is to run the SQR process. Log into your Google Ads account and head over to the search terms report for your phrase match campaign. And then set a filter for your threshold. What threshold you use depends on how much you spend and how much traffic you get. But I might start at something like more than 10 impressions in the past 30 days and then go from there. In my example, I ended up with too many search terms to consider. So I changed the impression threshold to get a more manageable number. What number of search terms you want to consider each time you do this is up to you. So find the threshold that works for you. Now you have a list of search terms to move. First, scan them and make sure they are all relevant. If anything in there looks irrelevant, add it as a negative term to your campaign. For all the remaining keywords, add them to the corresponding exact match campaign ad group. You can do this the manual way using copy and paste. This will take some time, but if you don't have many terms to move, then this is an okay option. When you have lots of stuff to move, the better option is to download your whole list to a spreadsheet. Then use that spreadsheet to quickly upload all your keyword choices to the exact campaign. You can do this in the web interface, or you can do this with the Google Ads editor app that you can download for your desktop, whichever you prefer. Once you've moved all the terms above your impression threshold, I would normally repeat the process again, but this time look specifically for lower volume terms that converted. Now, of course, if a search term actually delivers sales, that's a pretty good sign that we should have it in the exact campaign. And so, even if it's lower than my threshold, I want to make sure that I've added it as a keyword as soon as possible. One final step to take as part of the SQR process is to add as negatives to your phrase campaign all the keywords you just moved to exact. This is what I call keyword sculpting and it is what helps us to ensure that going forwards, those terms will appear in the exact campaign only, which is where I want them. What I've just explained to you is the manual method of doing your SQR process. The script I've built will actually automate all the above steps for you. You'll set the script to run, it will send you a list of suggestions each week, you pick which ones you want to keep and which to neg, and then the script will take care of all the rest of it for you. Just to remind you, if this video gets 150 likes, I will share this script with you in a future video. So hit the like button now if you want it and hit the subscribe button as well so you get notified when I release that video. Once you have the SQR process down pat, it's time to look for good opportunities for exact ad group restructuring. Now, 95% of the time, you can just chuck all your search terms into one big exact ad group per seed keyword and it works just fine. You get these big ad groups with lots of keywords in them, sure, but all the keywords are relevant to the same seed keyword. So if you write good ad copy about that seed keyword, you are fine. There are no relevance or quality score issues. But about 5% of the time, it's worthwhile to take an exact term or, or terms from within those large exact ad groups and break them out to their own ad group with custom ad copy. This is what I mean when I say I look for those opportunities for exact ad group restructuring. Some of the signs to look for to know that a keyword should be restructured into its own ad group is if the keyword is getting a very high volume of traffic coupled with a lower than average quality score. Back in the day, Perry Marshall branded this method as peel and stick. You peel the keyword out of the original ad group and you stick it in its own ad group. Then you write custom copy for that keyword and boom, your quality score goes up. So that's basically what I'm saying here, that with the seed mining method, you are gonna to want to regularly check for those times where the good old peel and stick is going to deliver value for you. 
Now, another time to peel and stick is if you notice the intent behind a keyword would better be served by a different landing page or ad copy. Back to my iPhone covers example again. If you start seeing lots of terms for wooden iPhone covers, and you know you have a page on your site dedicated to that type of product, it makes sense to peel and stick all your wooden iPhone cover keywords out to their own ad group. The third optimization you want to run weekly is, of course, ad copy optimization. Focus primarily on the exact match campaign for this, as that is where all your performing terms have been moved. At least weekly, go into your ad groups and check for opportunities to pause a loser ad and then write a new challenger ad to try and become the new champion ad. If you keep up this regular process every week, you're going to see your CTRs keep going up and up and up, which in turn will bring your CPCs down and result in cheaper clicks for you. All right, so now we've covered the setup and the optimization, but now you may be wondering, why bother with all of this? Why bother setting it all up this way in the first place, instead of whatever structure you are using now? Well, the seed mining method has some pretty compelling advantages, so let's talk about those now. One of the main advantages of the seed mining method is that it balances the power of machine learning AI and human control in your ad copy optimization. I call this the ad copy advantage. With the seed mining method, compared to something like single keyword ad groups, for example, you're going to have more keywords per ad group. This means that each individual ad has more data and conversions on it. And this in turn allows the machine that is selecting the best ad copy for you to find the ads that work much more efficiently. Despite having way more keywords per ad group, the seed mining method has enough granularity to keep ads relevant to each keyword. That's because all the keywords in the exact ad group will come from exactly the same root seed keyword. They will all be about the same thing, meaning you can write ads about that one thing and all your ads will be relevant. For example, if your phrase ad group was for the keyword protective iPhone case, then all the keywords in the exact ad group are going to be about protective iPhone cases. You might have a lot of keywords in that exact ad group, such as buy protective iPhone case, get protective iPhone case today, and order protective iPhone case online. But all of those keywords are about the same thing. And no matter how many of those keywords you have, you only need to write ad copy about protective iPhone cases. In addition to the ad copy advantage, you have a big advantage in terms of ease of setup. Instead of researching hundreds or thousands of possible long tail keywords at the start of your campaign, you only need to research the handful of keywords that actually count as seed keywords. This saves a tremendous amount of time at the beginning. And you don't miss out on any long tail keywords because all of those will eventually be discovered in your weekly search query monitoring process. In addition to this, because you're only adding long tails based on data, you won't waste time adding long tails that never actually get many clicks or impressions. A final advantage of the seed mining method that I will mention is that it allows you to quickly see where to focus your efforts. After a few weeks of running this structure, you will start to see conversions accruing 80-20 style in a handful of ad groups. Those ad groups will be where you should then focus 90% of your attention as far as ad copy improvement is concerned. So it makes it clearer to see where to focus. And then when you do focus there, every improvement in ads you make has a huge effect across lots of keywords, compounding the benefits you get from having focus there in the first place. To sum it up, the seed mining method is a simple and powerful way to structure and optimize any Google Ads account. It essentially boils down to setting a phrase campaign to discover search terms and then porting those search terms over to an exact match campaign where you focus on crafting high performing ad copy. If you have any questions or queries about using this method, feel free to drop me a comment below. I answer each and every question on my channel, so please don't be shy. And remember, if this video gets 150 likes, I will give away for free my script that automates the SQR process for you. So send me a like right now if you want in on that. And if you like this video and want more of the same, or if you just want a notification when the video with my script comes out, hit the subscribe and bell button now. I release around three videos per month and I'm all about things Google Ads and e-commerce PPC. Until next time, guys, always be testing. Getting rid of my massive spot.
I don't normally wear makeup, but when I do, it's for my YouTube videos. Worse skin. No, it looks worse now. What the hell? <laughs> um. Spot on my. Okay, this is just. Okay, I'm washing this off. I'm gonna have a spot on my 